Yo, welcome back to the Wavy's channel on YouTube, bringing you sneak reviews, clothing reviews, dope vaults, and everything in between. Today we're taking a look at the Yeezy 350 Ash Pearls. Let's get to it. I probably should have straightened the box before I recorded that, but it is what it is. Mistakes happen. All right, the Ash Pearl is an earth tone colorway. Pretty much most of the Yeezys are toned colorways, um, but it is a little bit different than your typical brown Yeezy 350 uh, V2, but I mean, you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, there's different colors in it. There's like some blues or purples, and you know, of course the, the typical tans and browns, and you know, those are tones, but another Yeezy, there's not really much behind it as far as the story goes. So we'll just get straight into it. And we'll start with the box right here. So as you see on the box, we do have 350 right here. Boost right there, nothing on this side. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing on this side. Got some Adidas Easy branding right there. Then right here you have the tag and also some other branding. And all of the color codes on there are Ash Pearl. So that is the box. I mean, it's typical Yeezy paper in it. And here we have the shoes, the Ash Pearl Yeezys. So let us, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look and dive into these. We're gonna start off with the bottom, of course. As you see on the bottom, it is like a tan color, sand color to match the upper on the shoe. And you see there's this slight difference in color between this midsole from the outsole. It is a noticeable difference if you're looking at it up close. If you're walking, I guess once it gets dirty, you know, you'll notice it a little bit more as well. But definitely something to consider. Just like a few of the other Yeezy where there's a color difference between the outsole and then the midsole. So on the upper of the shoe, you do see you have like this tan and blue kind of color I'll guess I'll call it navy yeah so it's like navy blue in here and then also a little bit of light blue mixed in with that sand color and then you see you have like this brown sand stripe that is transparent right here and then right above that you do have more of that sand color right above the stripe here diamond stitching well not diamond stitching it's like a square and an X stitching on here going up from the toe all the way to the top of the tongue now on the other side, you do have all of that blue, the navy blue and like that light blue color peppered in with that tan color. It's like a neutral, it's like a naked kind of color almost, which is very nice, I think in my opinion. Uh, it looks really good. I really like this shoe a lot. I like the colors on it. Something different is the laces on these. These feel a little bit more rough. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're just, I don't know. It's definitely different than say like these. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I'll show a close up. They just, they're they are not the same. I feel like these are, may, no, they're not a little bit thicker, but you can definitely see the difference in the sheen between the two. So yeah, just something that I noticed. These are a little bit lighter. These are a bit heavier. So definitely a difference between the laces and the typical easy laces. Now going to the inside, it is that natural naked tan color inside. And you have the three reflective stripes right here along the back. And turning it around on the inside, you have that vinyl strip that covers that stitching line for the tongue. And then also you have these felt tan inserts on the inside. So when your foot slides in, it's nice and smooth. And of course, there you have the padding right in here, right in that back part. And that color also, it's all on the inside, but the outside lining is that same color. And then the tongue, not the tongue, the insole is the same color as well. With that Adidas Easy branding, white side on the bottom. Here's the inside, just a typical look at them. I don't think replicas or I believe replicas have mastered the lacing or the stitching inside the shoe. 
I see there's a lot of replicas coming out in general on YouTube. I'm sure if you're a sneaker YouTuber or a sneaker watcher, sneaker YouTube watcher, let's say it like that. If you're a sneaker YouTube watcher, I'm sure you've seen UAs been, have just been kind of taken over, taken the community by storm. It's been a thing for a while, but it's, it's getting heavy now, definitely heavy. Was just some little details of the shoe wanted to show you those just in case i don't know i don't have any replica 350s so i wouldn't know i don't have do i have anything replica no no the only things that i had that were was like super old like the easy twos but i got my money back from those but yeah that was that's that's uh that's the shoe right there. So what I'll do now is go ahead and put these on foot. Speaking of the foot, let's talk about sizing. So the sizing on these is going to be true to size. You know, there's no real difference in materials. So if you know what size you're wearing, easy 350 V2s, then go ahead and stay with that typical sizing. Another thing to note, if you don't have these shoes here, is that the inside is lined with like a protective padding kind of insert thing right here in the toe box so it is not super stretchy up here I mean, as you can see it, there's there's not a lot of give but yeah definitely some things that I wanted to touch on before I show you the on foot so now let's look at the on foot I 
Vegas and Joe Pay, ain't gonna you do whatever I say, so. Yeah. I come out the lamp, cause I'm a super trap. Cause I'm super trap. My pockets don't bad out, but I'm a super trap. Yeah, yeah. Two don't make back on the schedule, that's the latest. That's my latest. Call top right, right, right. Look at these beautiful things. Look at the look at the beautiful things. Now I see this tag. It's reminding me. Reminding me that these laces may be recycled. Like recycled materials. That would make sense. But we're back with these things right here. These are a nice pickup. Definitely a good shoe. I would pick these up now. I don't know if they'll go up in value. If they do, it won't be by a ton. But this is definitely a shoe that's like People are going to look at these. They're going to take a second, look down, probably give you a nod. Because this is a nice shoe. Definitely, I love all the colors on here. Um, the different browns and the blues in it. It's just it's just such a nice shoe. Just the colorways. <sighs> ah, I felt the same about the ash blues that are right here. But these are a little bit different. The ash blues are loud. That's why I like those. But this is like a subtle... If you know what I mean. <laughs> but overall, I mean, yeah, this is the review. Try to keep it short and sweet for you. You know, trying to, trying to stay a little bit more mellow. Just stay true to who I am instead of, oh, yeah, duh. I mean, I'm like that half the time, but not all the time. <laughs> In the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this shoe. Is it a cop or a drop for you? Subscribe if you're new. Join the crew. I'm out of here. I will see you soon. Never play yourself. Peace.